What's up, Holly Stars? This is Logic Love Kids here, and I'm here to tell you you're watching Mr. Hollywood. Let's see another horror film. It can go either two ways, very predictable, and it can be a bad movie. But it can also be, on the other hand, that's so bad that it's a guilty pleasure. I take the second one, please. Stars, it's boy Mr. Hollywood here, and welcome back to Mr. Hollywood Reviews. Today I'm reviewing the movie. I'm gonna give you all the pros, I'm gonna give you all the cons, and of course my overall thoughts on this film. The Strangers, Planet Night, is a horror film, and it is indeed a sequel to the 2008 film called The Strangers, but this time it's directed by Johanna Roberts and stars Christina Hendricks, Martin Henderson, Benny Madison, and Lewis Palman. So by now you're probably wondering what the basic premise of plot is for the Strangers Plant Night. Well have no fear, honey stars, cause Mr. Hollywood is here to break down the plot for y'all. And without further ado, let's get down to the story. The movie centers on a couple named Mike and Cindy who take their son and daughter on a world trip that becomes their worst nightmare. You see, the family members soon find themselves in a desperate fight for survival when they arrive at a scheduled mobile home park that doesn't sound right and it doesn't make sense, but whatever. That mysteriously is deserted. Ooh. Until Dream Max psychopaths show up to satisfy their taste or dose for blood. So, I already talked about the story to the strangers. Prayer night. But what are my pros and cons of it? You may be asking. And what are my initial thoughts in the film? Okay, so before I say my initial thoughts on this film, I just gotta say that I'm mixed on this film. On the one hand, on the critical standpoint, and from a movie critic standpoint, it's very bad. I was originally gonna give this film an F, or D minus, or D plus. But on the other hand, this is a film that's a guilty pleasure, and. This film actually surprised me. No, no, this film legit surprised me. In many ways, they perform, form or whatever. Because, and this is where I get to my list of thoughts. Some spawners, by the way, so uh, I'll warn you when I get to spawners. Um, first of all, let's get to the critical side of things. First of all, the story. The story is pretty predictable. It's like it's basic natural film. It's your villains or your kiddos being murderers and killing people for no rhyme or reason. And of course, you get the script that is just, oh my gosh. And the characters are so unlikable too. That you're kind of like, I don't care when, like, okay, this is hard. I don't want to say that I... Look, I want to say some friend and this character to die. Oh my gosh. Okay, I just saw a rat. Like, in the middle of this recording. Oh my gosh. Anywho. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was a scary. But, okay. Which is fitting, because I'm reviewing a movie about scary stuff. Anywho. So, shout out to Michael the Comic Node. Um, he shouted me out on uh, my Black Panther, I mean, 
Now on my Black Panda Bond, his Black Panda review. Sorry for the tongue twister now. So I figured, why not? And because he says, anywho, and I'm like, well, okay, this would be a good enough time to actually shout him out. <laughs> Any, oh my gosh, and I just fought it. Holy crap. <laughs> and now stuff is happening in this review. I don't know why. So, only with Stranger Things, I mean, the Strangers. I will review Stranger Things later on this year. But, anywho, back to the movie at hand. You see, as I get distracted, it's very easy for me to do that. Even though I have a script. And I know what I'm going to say. But, um, on with this film. There's... I can't really think of enough um, cons with the film. Oh, yeah. This is a con, but I just got to say real quickly that the family is going up on a lake vacation or something like that. And the reason why is because they want to spend a nice weekend or nice few days with each other before the daughter goes off, uh, goes away. Now, this would, that this is an entirely clear about why she's moving, why she's going away or moving away. Maybe it's because she is going off to college. It could be that. Oh, it could be that she did something very terrible. And, oh, by the way, the daughter's played by Benny Madison. Benny Madison. Benny. I can't even say her name right. Forgive me. Forgive me. <laughs> Any, anywho. Uh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> Any. Uh, you know what? Anyway, at, um, yeah, I just wanted to clarify that because I'm like, okay, I would like some uh, verification of this, but whatever. So, um, where was I going at with this film? Oh, yeah. Now we got to get to the spoilers. Now, if you don't want spoilers, uh, turn away right now. Uh, let me give my quick... Uh, great on it real quick. I give this film... I give this film a C. You know what? <laughs> I was going back and forth with this. At first, as soon as I came out of the movie, I gave this an F. But then again, I'm like, this is a movie that's so bad it is good. So I'm going to give this a D-. minus, And I will give this a D-, minus by the way, because this, this is so bad. But on the other hand... That's another thing, too. Another thing that I'm conflicted by. Or maybe I should just judge it based on how I personally feel about it. And what I feel is that it's bad, but it's a film that I wouldn't mind seeing again. And it's uh, and again, it's a film that I... It's a guilty pleasure for me. So I guess take that into a grain of salt, guys. I gotta give this film a C. So now, no conflict over. Problem solved. <laughs> Anywho, um, do I recommend you see this movie in the theaters? Yeah, yeah, surprisingly in a way, because this movie surprised me of how bad it is, but bad in a very good way. So, um, spoiler territory real quick. Um, so as we on, as you probably guessed, uh, there's, there's more, uh, there's, yeah, mo why, yeah, okay, not motors, kiddos, um, I don't know which one of them sounds better, maybe none of them sounds better, but, um, uh, anywho, um, there's kiddos that are hunting down this family. And there's no rhyme or reason, there's no motives, there's no vendetta. It's just these char these villains or character I mean, these villains or kennels or however you want to perform them, they um uh, they kill for no reason. Um <laughs> so there's like the mom's death that I'm like, oh, okay. That sucks. The dad's death is like when he gets something stuck in him, and I'm like, okay, there's no way you got walked out, buddy. And then, no joke. When the father, like, 
like there's a scene where um the daughter witnesses the her mother's death in the bathroom like I, like I described or probably not described or whatever. Uh she dies um uh, by one of the canals and um the daughter goes off and one from the canals and as she's doing that the husband and um uh, Buddha comes by and they also see the mother's death and they're sad about it. And so they get in the car and as they're pointing out, there's like a car right behind them that whew, smashes into that car and something, I don't know what, it wasn't really clear, but something fell and it pews, um, not stabs, but goes through the dad's heart or whatever. And you're kind of like, yeah, there's no way that you're going to walk out, buddy. So the father, I mean, the son goes to get out. But the, uh, but eventually the kind of shows up and to kill him. And I'm like, okay, why would you do that? He's always going to die, anywho. But whatever. <laughs> there's another part where I'm just looking at the trunnel right now. Uh, and there's a part where the brother... Uh, you can kind of predict that he's going to die. But he doesn't. And multiple times. And the kiddo just doesn't die. Like the last one does not freaking die. And you're like. Really? Were you like invisible or something? Are you supposed to be like human? <laughs> and then there's one part. Well his car is on fire. Because the girl like literally set her, set his car on fire, and oh uh, yeah, the girl, and the daughter gets brutally injured. In fact, both of them do, and one by an axe, surprisingly, but it doesn't really kill him a whole. And <laughs> oh my god, so now I'm going all over the place here, but. No, bottom line, this movie was straight out hilarious for all the wrong reasons, but I couldn't help myself, honey stars, or when I could it because this movie, again, is so bad. From a, from a critical standpoint, yes, it is bad. And I can see why, why a few people can, can be potentially torn off by this, but if you're like me and find a good pleasure, then by all means, and just now that I'm thinking about it, it's just hilarious. And oh my gosh, I wouldn't mind watching this again. I'm with him with it. So I, that was my long review for The Strangers Friend Night. I'm sorry that this video is 10 minutes long, but hey, what can you do? Yeah, that's all I had to say about it. So, uh, Drop a huge like on this bad boy if you guys really enjoyed this video. Comment down below and let me know what you think about the movie if you've seen it. And Kristen, would you rather see the original or this one? And what's your favorite horror film, I guess? You know, whatever. Or what, what's your favorite horror film that is a guilty pleasure? No matter how bad it is, you just can't in stop enjoying it for how bad it is. Comment down below. Let a brother know. Also, you can hit me up on all my social media, links, description, and with all that said done, I guess I'm, oh wait, uh, yeah, make sure to share this video with all your friends that they know that my son will exist, and that's about it, I believe, so, uh, I'm Mr. Hollywood, stay gold on my hundred stars, and I'll see you in the next video. Hello, Payne the Nerd here. Make sure to like and subscribe down below for more content and become part of the Holly Stars.